Their music was a staple of the 70s, a sound that spawned hit after hit, and even a Captain and Tennille TV series. But eight years ago, Tony and Daryl walked away from the limelight, leaving Hollywood for a quieter life in northern Nevada. The show business people are a different breed, usually. You know, they're very oriented to making it at all times and a tremendous drive. And I knew that I never had that, so it didn't, you know, I, I just accepted it. If it's going to happen, it's going to happen. If not, you know. And I didn't have that either. I, it was fun. I liked it. It came and it was nice. When Daryl and I first started working together, we first thought we might have a hit. Uh, we agreed that if Captain and Sunil stopped having hits, that we would gracefully go off and, and not try to hang on. I'm love crazy. But now the Captain and Tennille have ended their semi-retirement, returning to the studio to work on a new album. Daryl says their signature sound should play well in the 90s. When you listen to ballads today, there really isn't that much difference in sound. Maybe there's a, it echoes a little more sophisticated or something, but basically it's the voice and then there's the music behind it. Love, love will keep us together. The couple says fans are often surprised to learn that they're still happily married, but what's not surprising to Tony is the response they get from their older music. A lot of people fell in love to Love Will Keep Us Together. A lot of people made love to do that to me one more time. Um, and those songs mean something to people. And, and so it's, it's not a bad thing to come back and do them, I think, for people. Look in my heart and let love keep us together. Their album will be out later this year, but first Tony will appear in the musical Stardust in Los Angeles next month.